Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create smooth motion across multiple keyframes using Rove Across Time. Rove Across Time uses what are called roving keyframes. You can tell roving keyframes as they are circular. And roving keyframes cannot be the first or the last keyframe. You can only rove keyframes or row across time in between the first and the last keyframes of an animation. You can only rove across time or use roving keyframes on the spatial transform properties, which are the anchor point property and the position property. So using this not so good animation, now I'm going to show you how to create roving keyframes or how to smooth out the motion of an animation using Rove Across Time. So currently, the left side and the right side animations are identical. If we look down in the Layers panel, you can see the keyframes were added to the position property. To create roving keyframes, I'm just gonna drag a selection over the keyframes that I want to rove across time. Then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose Rove Across Time. Before I do so though, I'm just gonna show you, you can also create roving keyframes from the keyframe interpolation menu. If you go to the bottom, you'll see there's a roving section. So there's a definition if you wanna refresh your memory of what roving means. You see here, roving keyframes rove in time to smooth out the speed graph. And the first and the last keyframes cannot rove. So we've already discussed that. So in this case, you would just select rove across time. That's the exact same result you'll get when you right click and choose rove across time. So I'll click. So the first thing you may have noticed is that the roving keyframes all shifted in their position. So before they were all lined up perfectly, but as soon as I right click and chose rove across time, notice they all shifted. And they also changed from that diamond shaped linear keyframe. Now the roving keyframes are circular. I'm gonna to toggle off the visibility of the text just so it's easier for you to see the animation. I'll tap the space bar. So now you can see with the roving keyframes, the animation is much smoother on this right side. And if I turn on the visibility of the left side, you can really see the difference. Remember, these are identical. The only difference is the right side has the rove across time and the left side just has the original animation. Quite a difference. Remember in the keyframe interpolation dialog box, it said that roving keyframes smooth out the speed graph. This is easy to see if we go into the graph editor. Now this is the left side. So this is the standard animation that we did. Notice how it's going up and down. But if we look at the roving keyframe, it is just a straight across line. So it smoothed out the animation. It's even more visible if we make the keyframes easy ease. So I'll go back to the keyframes. I'm gonna select all the keyframes. I'll tap F9 for easy ease. I'll select the left side and go into the graph editor. You see, we still have got the up and down. We've got more of a curve since they're easy ease. But now when I go to the right side, you're gonna see it's a nice smooth arc. With roving keyframes, you can move the first or the last keyframes and all of the roving keyframes in between are just gonna move with them and adjust. However, if you select an individual roving keyframe, as soon as you nudge it either to the left or to the right, it's going to automatically revert to its previous state. So I'm just gonna move this to the left and you'll see it automatically converts back to its original state, which is the easy ease keyframe in this case. And to revert all of the roving keyframes, just select them all. You can right click, go to keyframe interpolation, go down to where it says roving and change it to lock to time, click okay. And now you'll see they're all easy ease keyframes. So if you ever find yourself wanting to smooth out the speed graph of your animation, but you don't want to have to manually adjust all the keyframes and figure it all out, consider using Rove across time to create roving keyframes for a nice smooth animation. That is your quick tip in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.